I'm Dan Cunningham. Um, I'm local to the Madison area, right around the Game Crafter. I've been designing games for a couple years now, um, maybe four years. Uh, it's been super helpful that the Game Crafter's nearby, so most of my stuff has done gone through the Game Crafter. Um, some of my first games that I've done, uh, Starstead was a, a card-based game, um, kind of a simple playing, a little bit of a drafting style. Uh, got that reviewed by a couple good places in there. It's still up on Game Crafters, still getting some sales every once in a while. Um, developed a couple since then, a little deeper, meatier, heavier. Um, and my big ambitious goal over the last year has been I've been working on one game that I'll be hitting Kickstarter in uh, November, early November. Game Crafters has been a pretty huge asset for anything prototyping. Um, I like to go through iterations fairly quickly, um, and having a local place that could do anything really has been really key for me. And so I, when I'm designing the components for the game, often I'll just plug them into something Game Crafter already has so I can produce them quick. Having them local, like it's literally a week and a half before I can go pick them up. Um, and the kind of the environment and community around the Game Crafter has been really key for testing as well as discussions as in, in the design itself. So um, now when I'm kind of moving forward into say this Kickstarter thing, you know, I've had to move away from Game Crafter a little bit, but they've been instrumental in that initial early stuff, getting stuff to a working point. Um, so I really know what it will become eventually. It's been very helpful. So I've obviously started with these prototypes through the Game Crafter, um, developed those into working things that I enjoyed playing with my friends. Um, and I kind of pride myself in dabbling in a lot of different areas and liking to do a lot of different things. So I kind of put it to myself, can I self-publish a game? Can I do a lot of the work to um, write a rule book, edit, um, get some social media out there, even do a little bit of advertising, all that stuff? That would be really fun if I could do that. So I thought, you know, I've got these board games up to a point where I feel like they're great and other people should know about them. Let's let's move forward from there. And so since then, I've been kind of progressing, learning, doing everything I need to know or everything I need to do in order to get to that point. And, um, I mean, kind of all started from those initial points and then my love for doing a little bit of everything. My advice for new designers is to not just play test, but play test by yourself. I mean, take two-handed play testing. In, in Magic the Gathering, it's, it's gold fishing. You're playing against just either somebody dumb or you're envisioning yourself as two players. Um, I've been able to take designs that I thought maybe had some merit, set it down in front of myself and try two-handed, so not just kind of play testing with other people, but two-handed and just figuring out what works and what doesn't. And in that way, in a single night, you can go through a lot of ideas and you don't have to get together with other people. Obviously, getting together is great, but you can't always do that. But really, that's been a really huge asset for me is to be able to do this self-play testing to figure out what's going to work and what's not, even before you put it in front of somebody. So the last year, been developing this, my favorite idea, it's called Loon Architects. Um, it's actually built on the foundations of the game Glenn Moore by Matthias Kramer, um, previously published, but I've been working kind of alongside him to further it, change the theme, obviously re-implement it. Um, but we're getting close, you know, beginning of November, launching the Kickstarter. Um, going until December, uh, and then full production after that. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, and where it goes from there, who knows? You know, this is the start for the Iron Kitten Games publishing company and ironkittengames.com or lunarchitects.com. Um, you know, we've got ideas for other games in the works. You know, if this one is a success as much as I hope it is. Um, we'll probably be able to push some additional games out of that, but... Certainly go to lunarchitects.com and uh, check out the information on that game or just ironkittengames.com.